high betting experts on Wednesday, May the 10th. They're off to Chester, the start of the three-day May meeting. A huge crowd assured. The weather forecast doesn't look too bad. Good ground at the time of recording. There shouldn't be too many excuses, though, of course, it is a track. Sharp left-handed on the turn throughout, where luck in running or the riding tactics on the day can play a big part. Hopefully, we found a couple of winners to start the meeting off. We start off in the 240. This is the Weatherby's Digital Solutions Cheshire Oaks. A Class 1 listed contest for fillies only over one mile, three furlongs and 75 yards. The prize money over £56,000 to the winner. Some very interesting and unexposed fillies and none more so in my opinion than Ashtanga of Martin Mead. Now Martin Mead, a quiet start to the turf season. Not got that many horses these days. Not from three in the last 14 days but this one is sure to be fully fit as she steps up in class for the first time. She ran twice as a juvenile starting off in autumn at Salisbury in a pretty hot little race where she shaped really well but she improved dramatically for a step up to an extended mile on softer ground at Nottingham going with real zest from the front and under Andrea Atzani making all the running just shaken up at the furlong pole and sprinting clear two and three quarter lengths ahead of Kijani and another two and three quarter lengths back to the third Kiara Storm um, the runner up has run well in defeat since the Frankie and I do think it was a strong race often those Nottingham maidens at the end of the season can be extremely competitive and this certainly looked like one beforehand. I think Ashtang is going to improve for a stiffer test of stamina. She's a Nathaniel filly. She's up to one mile three here. Oisin Murphy, fresh from winning the thousand guineas on Sunday, is booked which I think is extremely significant and I think she can improve for this stiffer test of stamina and see off some highly regarded rivals from the top stables. Our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 205. This is the tote 100,000 guaranteed place by everyday handicap. Five furlongs and 15 yards, a class three for three-year-olds only. Again, excellent prize money, over 15 grand to the winner. And I'm going to give Kurdos another chance here for Clive Cox. Now, Clive Cox, uh, a stable I really like, always got nice young horses. Two winners in the last 14 days. They're just coming right. I think some of them, in fairness, have been needing a run. Kurdos, two wins last season as a juvenile at Haydock and at Windsor under a penalty. Off for 166 days, hammered in the market. Looked a bit unlucky at Lingfield, beaten ahead by Con Chris door on the all weather back on turf again strong in the market uh, at Newmarket over six furlongs 132nd favourite there but pulled far too hard if you watch the race back didn't settle at all for Kieran Schumark uh, and weakened out of things at the furlong pole I don't think the drop back to five furlongs is a bad plan at all Curdles has got loads of speed Ross Orion takes over this afternoon should take plenty of beating best of luck on Wednesday betting experts mm-hmm.